Okay, we are recording. Like I said, hi, hello, happy August. I am so excited. Um, I really wanted to start this month out with, with some fresh tips in two different areas. And I think that this is really where growth in your business come from. I think it's 50-50 between really the like mental side of things, the breakthroughs you have, the up levels you have, you know, when you just like break through that barrier and it's like the floodgates open and you're like, this is what I've been waiting for. And if you haven't had that moment yet, I really do pray that anything um, that Lori or Olivia speaks on tonight just speaks to your soul. So I'm going to have them first talk a little bit about just what their biggest breakthrough has been in their business um, with their mindset, with their heart, with the way they show up, anything that just is really on their heart for them to share with you guys. And then I'm going to loop back around and ask them again to give one business building tip so that you can kind of pair them both together of like the mindset side of things, but then also applicable things that you can add into your business. Um, so I see Lori, so I'm going to start with her. Um, if you just want to unmute yourself, tell a little bit about your story and then just kind of explain like the biggest breakthrough that you think that you've had in the business. Okay. Hi. Uh, super nervous. Um, but I, I'm Lori. I'm a 4k. So I actually came from another company. Um, and I was like, just about ready to quit on network marketing and, um, I don't know. I just, she was like pulling at my heartstrings, like every time I saw her and I kind of dabbled with it for a while, but then I finally decided to join. But let me tell you guys, like, <laughs> it wasn't like, I was like, yes, I'm doing this and I'm all in. It was like, I'm all in. Just kidding. I'm not in. I'm all in. Let's do this. Just, just, just kidding. I'm not really like all in at all. I'm not doing this. So it's been like up and up and down for me and recently, like, Y'all, when I say recently, it's like, like seven days ago recently, I was like, you know what? I'm freaking done um, letting my mind hold me back. I would get on Instagram and it's funny because it's not like I would compare myself to Instagram models and stuff. I was comparing myself to like the leaders and stuff on our tribe thinking like, gosh, I wish so badly like I had their momentum or I was like them or I could reach people like them. But I would find myself picking away at myself every single day when I was just doing that. And then honestly, it was like a mixture of watching M and Katie um, saying like, stop comparing and stop looking at Instagram for your inspiration and start looking to God. And I'm not like one person to like super preach. I'm not like, I don't shove my religion. Like I, I believe in God and I wish everybody, you know, believe in God, obviously, but I'm just not that person that ever spoke on it. And then, you know, like I want to say seven or eight days ago, I was in my shower and I was telling him this and I just had like literally the first time ever a voice was in my head. And I was like, wake up tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. and do what you need to do. And I reached out to him at 5 a.m. the next morning. And I was like, I think God talked to me last night in the shower. I, I think I'm supposed to do this. And she's like, that's so weird. Um, like, I, I'm going to add you to this group. And I don't know, since that day, I just woke up and I was like, I'm done. I'm done with the excuses. I'm done leading my life blindly. Like, here you go, man, take the reins, tell me what to do. And since then, I've just decided, like, I'm going to wake up and I'm going to do what I have to do. And I've shown up every single day. And I'm not kidding, in the past, like, three days of just showing up and feeding into my mind and listening to him and really just doing the things, my business has changed already monumentally, like, huge. But yeah, so that's kind of what happened to me. I really just kind of sat back and was comparing, was super negative and kept telling myself I was never going to be successful. And then I just stopped and, and, um, I just kind of did it. Like I listened to God and I just kind of started See, doing it. This way and chills on the porch. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, so just, I think when you kind of just stop letting like the devil whisper into your ear and you stop letting all the negative thoughts in your head control you and you just wake up and you just decide like, I just keep telling myself, like, every morning when I wake up, even when I don't feel like you just make that decision that no matter what, you're going to do it because, um, like, success is not just going to fall in your lap. And I think Matt actually was the one that said, like, even if it takes five years to get to 200K, like, wouldn't that be amazing? Like, wouldn't it still be amazing? It doesn't matter. Like, the amount that comes along with this business and this opportunity, it's worth it. It's worth the work. It's worth the time. So... I don't know. I just made the decision, I guess. And, and that was it. I stopped letting my thoughts keep me in a hole that was literally getting me nowhere. So. Yeah. And I think especially like from the outside looking in is it's been, I'm not trying to air your dirty laundry, but you've been through the ringer. Like 
mindset wise being so hard on yourself. Like she would have days where she's like, I just, I can't show up. Like I need to put my phone down. I'm in my head. Like I need time. And I respected every season she went through with that and held her hand for every season she went through because it's so true that until you're ready to make that decision, until you're ready to take that next step, until you're ready to just like step over everything that's blocking you, it doesn't matter what you do. It's what we always say, like it's in vain if you show up and you do all the IPAs and you do all the things, but your mental state is blocking you. And it's so true because the second you made that decision, it was like a complete like 180. Like she's like, I want to get on a Zoom. And I was like, oh yes, ma'am. <laughs> and she's like, I want an accountability partner. I want to do this. She's enrolling like crazy, which we're going to talk about when I come back to her. But it is a decision and you have to know the things that you need to work through because if you show up, but it doesn't feel right and you're in your head and you're like facing all those roadblocks, it's going to be so hard to move forward. It's going to be so hard to have any growth because it still has to happen internally first. And I remember her texting me that morning and it was, we're on different time zones. I don't even know what time it was here. I was up at that point and she's like, I'm up at 5 a.m. and I don't know why, but God told me to be. So what do I do? <laughs> like, okay. I'm like, we're going to make a morning routine. We're going to do this now. And I call those deposits. Um, and that's what I said to her is I was like, whoever you think was talking to you for me, it is God too. And I was like, but you have to listen. And even when you don't know what to do, even if you don't have every single step right now, like just start listening to where your heart is tugging you and it's all going to make sense. It's like, you're never being walked blindly into this. If it's on your heart that you need to change that one habit, or you need to have, you know, that one breakthrough, you just have to listen. And like, he's going to help you there. You have, you have God always, but you have us, you have your team, you have everybody. So if it's on your heart and you're like, gosh, I know I need to stop doing this. I know I need to change this one thing. Like, I know this is where my breakthrough is. You have to step out blindly in faith and just say like, I'm here, I'm showing up. I'm going to figure it out. And just like she even said, it's been a week with the change I've seen just in her mentality and her heart and her passion for this. Like it has done a complete 180. So like we always say, it's your mind. Like you can show up and do all the things, but until you have actual belief in yourself that you can do this and that you're worthy of doing this, right? You're going to have a hard time staying accountable with yourself. You're going to have a hard time, you know, showing up every single day when your heart's not in it. So I absolutely love that. I'm going to circle back to you in a little um, minute, but let me find Olivia and get her unmuted. I want her to introduce herself, tell a little bit about her story, and then also talk about really the change that she had. Like, I think within the past like 30 days is when I've really seen like so much growth within her. Um, ask to unmute. Yes. Are you there? There you yes. go. Yes. Hello. Hi. Hi, I am Olivia. I'm a 4K leader and um, I joined this tribe back in July. So it's been a little bit, but M is my leader. Oh, there was a phone call. I uh, got cut off for a second, but yes. Um, yeah, I'm a 4K leader and I've been in with you, all of you guys for a year. And I saw M on Instagram and she really spoke to my heart and I really wanted what M had. And I've always you know, wanted that duplication and I've always wanted that team, but I just want to say that I love to share my story and I just really love to kind of talk about where I've been and where I'm headed. And I've gotten used to doing that lately. And in the last 30 days, like Em has said, it has been, I've really sat down and got real honest with what I've wanted out of this business and where I want it to go. And I don't think that I, I don't know if I like just made a switch or had that decision. I think it just happened over time, like these last 30 days where I've just little by little, I've started to realize that this opportunity is, is not like anything that you, that you can just find. Like it's not, you're just average employer. This is, this is an opportunity for absolutely anyone. Um, and I think just getting real honest with wh wh where I've wanted my business to go. So I've had a few enrollments. I've had a few promoter enrollments and that right there is so near and dear to my heart. Like the tribe that I have, it's four, four women that I just love so much and I, and I cherish that. And that right there spoke so much to me when I was able to do that. And it just started to happen. And I, and I just started to finally believe in myself and believe what I'm capable of and know that, you know, 
whatever's happened in the past or it's happened for all for a purpose, all for a reason. And I've decided not to sit in it and I've decided to use it as motivation every single day. And the struggles that I've experienced, it's so it's powerful. And I said today that it's an opportunity to grow. Every struggle, every challenge that I face, business, life, whatever, I use that as motivation. And I think that right there being vulnerable and, and be slowly you'll become confident in your story and you'll become confident in this business. At least I have this last 30 days. And that right there, I've I've just started to attract people and I've started to see that my story holds power. And also I did want to touch on how my vision board has been done over the last 30 days and how I've put things on paper and how I've, you know, really tried to like manifest all the things. And, and, you know, you can say, like, I've always said, like, you know, debt free, have that savings account, have Lincoln and private school and things like that. But I've got real vivid and real detail and real bold about where I want to see myself five, 10 years. And it's scary. It's absolutely scary. And I will be honest, being a leader to me was scary for a long time because I didn't know what that entailed. I didn't know really, I saw the top leaders and I saw everyone in the tribe killing it all the time, but it was like, I do my IPAs and I show up, but I wasn't as confident as I am today. And it just takes that confidence, stepping in ownership over your business, over what you truly want and deciding this business can take you to so many places. And I've just slowly realized that. So that's my biggest breakthrough. It just happened over the, the, the last month that, that this opportunity is so, it's just, it gives me chills thinking about it, what it can do for my life. And you all, you all like, it's just crazy. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you. And I think that's kind of the same thing with what I was just saying about Lori is it's not even that, you wake up one day and you're like, Ooh, I have a step-by-step -step plan of how I'm going to do this. This like, you, it's not laid out in front of you, but it's that decision to say, I might be scared and I might not know how I'm going to do it. And it might be a path I've never walked down, but I'm ready regardless. And I think that that's the shift you really had where you just started to have belief in yourself and like realize that it's okay. You know, if I have to learn new things, it's okay. If it's a path I've never been down, if I want those things on my dream board, if I want that, my, that success, all I have to be willing to do is figure it out as it goes, because that's what leadership yeah. is. Like you don't wake up one day and have like a game plan. Like guys, I say all the time, I have no idea what I'm doing. I just try to figure it out every day and I do the best I can, but it's that willingness to not let fear hold you back because it straps so many people down because they think that since they don't know how it's going to be or how they're going to do it, that they're not capable of it. And that is so far from the truth. And like, when I tell you that Olivia has been like the most consistent promoter I have ever had, like she has never not shown up. She has gone every single day and she's done the IPA. She's done the posting. She's always on lives. Like she has gone from the day she signed up last July and has gone nonstop. And that vision was there, but she had to have that switch of like, Hey, I can do it. You know, I might not feel ready. I might not know exactly how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to figure it out. And when you open up that space within you, like that's when people come to you. That's when you enroll promoters and that's when your business starts to take off because you're willing to just say, I'm going to figure it out. And you have that openness and you have that willingness to gain the confidence you need to really attract people. In. And I always say that, and I know it might sound foo-foo because obviously people can't read your mind or what's going on. But if you're sitting there with those negative thoughts or the, I can't do it, or I'm not capable, or I don't know how to lead or this and that, I don't believe that people can be brought to you, right? That you can be entrusted with promoters to lead when you're, you know, sitting back saying, you know, I can't do that. Nope. Right. It's like, why would that be given then? So it's that willingness to say like, I might not know how to, and this might be a path I've never walked down, but I'm willing to figure it out. And I have a community around me that's always here to help me. Like you're never going to be left alone. You're never going to not know how to figure it out. And that's how you become a leader. Like you can't just read one book on it. You can't just say, you know, well, how do I do that? You just, you take it day by day and you figure it out, but it's that willingness. So I love that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, again, we're going to loop back. So I'm going to go to Lori and then come back to Olivia. So Lori has enrolled like 
I don't even know how many customers in the past, like four days, like 10, I don't know. She's going to tell you, but I want her to just give like a business building tip for really what she's doing to bring customers in during the sale. Um, and what's really been helping her to grow her team. Um, like I saw her on the first zoom with her team the other day and that just like made my heart so happy, but she's enrolling in her business. And I want her to just give a couple, um, business tips to go along with like the mindset breakthrough that she had. So let's do Lori and then we'll circle back to Olivia. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I've actually been kind of shocked too. I enrolled 13 customers, 10 of them in the last 24 hours actually, which was wild to me. Um, but I think really, so the first thing for me was, you know, they always say that your why, like your why has to, to be bigger. It has to be bigger than everything else to keep you driven and to keep you going. And obviously, you know, I have a family, I have a husband and a son and my husband's military and my goal one day is to retire him. So he never has to, to reenlist or go back overseas or deploy away from his family um, again. But my son is my huge why, you know, it was just me and him for, for so long. So what I've noticed in the past few days, when this sale happened, when I really decided this is what I wanted to do, I talked to Steve and I talked to Gage and I brought them into it with me because I feel like in order to stay confident and to stay focused and to not let yourself get super down, having that support system through your spouse. And you know, if they, sometimes they don't come around and that's okay. That's a whole different thing. I'm very lucky to have who I have, but bringing my son into it and letting him create a dream board of what he wants in, in his, you know, okay, put, put on your dream board, what you would like mommy to take you to in the next year. What's something big, something small, something, you know, things that you want, tell me. And let's do this together. Let's make a dream board together. So me and him and Steve, you know, I talked to Steve and I said, look, I'm going all in. And he was like, yeah, I, I know that I've been standing behind you waiting for you to realize that you can do this, you know? So having them in on this with me and us being on the same page and them knowing like, Hey, mama has a zoom tonight. I'm really sorry. I need you to play games, but we'll, we'll watch a movie later or whatever. And having that on that level and bring that in, it almost made it more exciting for me or more like, okay, now it's really real because they know and they know I'm serious. And I can't ever tell my son, like, I'm going all in, I'm going to do this. And then just be like, nope, sorry, mommy changed her mind. Like, no, I don't want to set that example. So bringing him in really helped kind of put the blinders up for me. Um, and then with that, getting on the, on the um, Zoom with my team. So I have never done this with my Thrive Tribe. Like, I have not gone on a Zoom yet. And getting on that Zoom and talking to them and hearing what they want how they want to go, what their goals are, writing it down and, and just promising to be what they need as a leader instead of trying to drag what I need from them um, has been a game changer. I got off that Zoom with my tribe and my girls before the end of the night, one had enrolled three customers, the other enrolled two customers, both got their free product credit for the next month. They have like a list of potentials. Um, it was a game changer. It's like listening to them we were driving each other. We were fueling each other's fire. We were holding each other accountable. So that was another thing is talking to my team and really us all trying to figure out where we're going together instead of me focusing on, okay, well, I want to hit this. No, it's where am I going to help my team grow? Um, so that was another really big thing for me, I think. And then as far as building business wise, I think that the biggest problem for me is I was not consistent. Um, and it's really, really hard for the people in your life on your social media to even be interested in something if you're so off and on about it and you're not passionate and consistent about it, right? So I started waking up every single day and I have been talking about it and showing it because these products are life-changing. This business is life-changing. And I think once you can show how excited you are every single day and you show up every single day, people start getting more drawn and drawn to that. So showing up every day and I started going to sleep a little bit earlier and waking up earlier because my time zone is different. So anybody that's not on the West Coast, Y'all are like halfway through the day by the time I woke up at 11. I'm like, oh, dang, well, there goes my whole day. So I started waking up at 5.30 um, every time when my, now that when my husband goes to work. And I start my mornings doing what I need to do first. And then I like dive into my business. That way, everything that kind of is before that, I get my self-development done. I do my workout, everything that I can do before that. And then I start my day. Um, but then also like not being scared to be vulnerable. I think on my, in, my Instagram, my social media, like right now, you guys, I'm not even kidding you. I'm sweating talking to y'all. Like it makes me freaking very nervous to talk to people. But, um, I think realizing that that is something that's relatable to people. 
opening that up and being relatable and being vulnerable is what will bring people who feel like they're not good enough to do this business or they're not pretty enough or they're too much of a hot mess or too awkward. Like that's relatable. So I don't know, just kind of showing up and bringing my family into it. And that's really all I've been doing and talking to people and my customers, like really the customer referral has been a big thing. Like I didn't talk about it enough with my like previous customers. And so some of them didn't even know it was a thing, which is totally my bad because they're like, wait, what? I can earn free products as a customer. I'm like, yeah, let's do that. So that's pretty much all I've been doing is just like really interacting with people, um, building relationships and talking, um, nonstop like I'm doing now. <laughs> okay. And super quick, can you touch on um, live videos and face-to-face -face on your stories? Because I feel like you consistently do face-to-face -face on your stories like seven days a week, no matter what. Do you think that that helps like bringing potentials into your inbox? Um, yeah, I do because I feel like when you're going face-to-face -face or you're going live, people get a glimpse of who you are. Um, and I kind of talked about this earlier today. I feel like when we're just posting stories, which is great, you should be posting stories every day. You should be posting um, about the products every single day. But when you talk to people, even if it's like not about the business or not about the products, they get a little glimpse and a snippet of who you are. And so many times, you know, I've heard they're not buying the product, like they're buying you. And that's so true because I'm telling you, like I've had so many people reach out to me because of who I am and like my personality and them learning me and, and getting a glimpse of me. And I don't know, they see that I'm a real human being. I'm not just like some girl who posts a whole bunch of stuff on my stories. It's, it's made a big difference for me anyway. Yeah. I think that that connection is so huge. And like she said, it's not just about the business and products. And you guys know that I preach this because I practice it every day. Like people need to know who you are and they need to see your personality and they need to see those glimpses into your life. Do you have to share everything under the sun? No, have your privacy, but I make it an effort every single day to get face to face on my stories because it lets people have that connection with you. Like if any of you guys follow me on Instagram, like you cannot tell me that you were not invested with the rap that was in my wall. Like you guys know <laughs> the story with the rat in my wall. And I had everybody checking in and everybody messaging me. And they're like, did you get it? What is it? Can I see the video? Like invested with the rodent that was in my wall, right? He was so cute. Um, but it's because it's my life, right? Like it's that, just that glimpse where you see my personality, you see my humor, you see my day to day. And it's the same thing when I talk about the products, like people get in my inbox about the products, number one, because of my personal testimony and my before and after, but also because of the way that I talk about it. I don't know if it was a rat. It might've been a mouse. I don't really know the difference. Um, but they hear my passion, right? Like they hear like, dude, this girl has spent three years. And, like she is jazzed still about this three step. Like she's still excited and people want that energy. So whether it's you sharing your day or your humor, or this, and that, and like, I get you're nervous. I get you're scared to do face to face. I get some people, it doesn't matter. And it's like one, two, three, easy. And some people it's very difficult, but you're only going to get comfortable doing it if you start doing it. And that is when you gain such a deeper connection with your audience, not just for promoters or customers, but just in general, like they need to know who you are, right? Because yes, we post the business stories and the product stories, but like that doesn't, like that doesn't grab hold of somebody. Like that's not your emotion and your heart and your life. And I know that when people message me about the business opportunity or the products, it's because I've made them feel something, right? And I can do that a lot better with my voice than with just a slide, right? So I make sure to have an integration of all of them, but start doing that more. Like start just talking to your audience and talking about the products and it doesn't have to be fancy. Like I don't ever have makeup on. Like Lori this morning, she was like in her bed with her blanket chatting, like just hang out and talk to people. Like it doesn't matter what you look like. And like she said, that shows people that you are creating a space for them where they can show up and just be themselves. They don't have to be dolled up. They don't have to, you know, be a professional at this. It's just who you are. So letting people into your life with that is huge. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That was incredible. Um, now I'm going to unmute Olivia and let her give you one of her business building tips. I asked to unmute. Okay. So for me, I'm going to, kind of touch on a few things, but I'm going to say really not having it all together and sharing that I don't always have it all together. Like kind of what Emma was just talking about and being really, really bold with my, with my, 
with my posts, right? With my lives, with my vision. I'm really talking about things that is uncomfortable. So I'm taking that courage and that initiative to be bold. Like one of the goals that is so out of my comfort zone is, um, you know, 40 K like 12 K is next for me, but I'm going to be more bold and I'm going to be stronger than that and say, let's go 40 K. Like I'm being more, you know, trying to be more focused on the bigger, on the bigger and more in the future and um, really being a learn it all about social media, staying updated on Instagram, on Facebook, because they're always coming out with new updates and they're always coming out with new things. Um, I do feel like, um, you know, staying involved, staying involved on my newsfeed, staying connected and always trying to find new women, right? Find new women and engage on their posts, staying consistent with that, having a relationship, doesn't have to be about the business having those people those women in my inbox that I connect with that I talk to that I know about their lives and staying up keeping up with them and staying organized in my journals and in my planners and setting setting the goals for the day those non-negotiables every day and just really staying focused and that's really been key for me lately that consistency and also you guys having no expectations on your day, absolutely setting no expectations on anything. Like I was talking about this with one of my promoters. Okay. And I do want to say that I was talking to her because she was so let down that someone had given them their word. They were going to order on this X amount a day, whatever. And they didn't come through and I had to be there for her. And I stepped up in that leadership role and I'm starting to do more things and finding out more things about myself. And I said, you know what, honey, we have to work through this. You know, like there are going to be a lot of no's in, in this. There's going to, you just have to remember that if it's not their time, it's not their time. And when they're ready, they'll come to you. And if they're not, it's on to the next. And that's one of the things that I've learned through this is when people give you their word and they're a hundred, they're giving you that a thousand percent certainty that they're going to do this and they fall short. You don't know their circumstances. You don't know what might be going on behind the scenes. So I do like to point that out to most people is don't expect that enrollment. Don't expect that. And that's one thing I've really had to hold on to and knowing that, you know, no expectations on anything like, setting those goals and really going that extra mile. So they push the goal back. But mm -hmm. not being, oh, but, but not being, not expecting it to happen. So that for me has really been something huge. And also keeping it simple. I do want to say this last part. I try to keep it basic every day. Sometimes I, I start slipping and I'm not like focused on the simple things of the business and I start sliding back a little bit. So I got to recheck. And one thing that I like to remember is how I got connected with him in the beginning and what draw me to her. And that was that we don't send cold messages and that we do have a tribe of women that care about each other, right? Like we're not robots here. And that to me was, meant more to me than anything in this world because I was with the company that I, I was draining all day. Like I was on E all the time and it wasn't a good headspace I was in for a good interval of my time there with that company and seeing that freedom in her and in her business and all the reviews and just one IGTV that I saw that spoke to my soul after what I, she was feeling, what I felt having that connection with her and Em and I built a very trustworthy foundation in like the first week that I had met her. I felt like I knew her forever. I was, tr I trusted her with a lot of things and having that, you know, duplication and, and taking that from, you know, from a learning experience and using that in my business is something that I strive to do. I strive to have that, you know, that honesty with my relationships and the people I connect with and having just that relationship and, and not being about an enrollment, not being about the business or the products, like they'll come, they will come. Like you, you are the representation for Lavelle. I'm the representation for Lavelle. And when, when they're ready, they'll, they'll show themselves. So that's one thing I've had to really come to terms with. And I think that's it. <laughs> em? I'm crying. Why am I crying? I'm not okay right now. I, <laughs> well, no, I was sitting here and I was remembering like, guys, I remember the day that Olivia signed up and I'm just like, I'm emotional. Please don't mind me. Um, <laughs> let me wrap this up and finish this off. That just like got to my heart because like I said, like she's so 
consistent in her business and that working to not have those expectations is so huge. And I always say that, like, I don't want you to show up every single day for an enrollment. I want you to simply show up and say, okay, if I want to be here in two years, what does that mean my day looks like right now, right? If I want to be that rank in X amount of time, what does my day look like right now? It's not about the enrollment because newsflash, like one customer and one promoter normally isn't the determining factor of your entire residual income for your whole life, right? Like it's not where it comes from. You have to understand that when you shift that focus from what am I not getting or who's not enrolling to simply, you know, who do I need to show up as today? What do I need to check off my checklist? What do I need to do to pour into my business and my team? And that's where your focus is. And your focus isn't on that expectation of an enrollment or the check being X amount or the volume being this amount. You take that pressure off yourself because disappointment, frustration, feeling burnt out, that comes when you place expectations. And 90% of the time, it's not other people putting them on us. It's us putting it on ourselves. So you really just have to give yourself that grace and that space to when do I ever have helicopters flying over my house um, to get through just your day every single day, right? So stop focusing so much on that end expectation and start saying like, what do I need to do today to you know, fulfill my purpose here to pour into somebody else, to make sure that I get content up that touches another woman, like to make sure that I'm sharing what these products do for me when I wake up in the morning, because I know another mom is waking up and she's freaking tired and she's frustrating and she's standing in her kitchen crying because she's so freaking tired. She can't take it. Like think about who you're showing up for and what you're doing it for. And that's going to drive your entire business. And when you stop focusing so much on the outcome, and like I always say, you tackle the day, but have your vision forward. That is when your business changes. That is when the enrollments come because when you're focused on the end goal and you're just refreshing your cloud office and you're looking at that person that didn't enroll, it's not doing everything. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard, I share a lot in like the 4K chat and stuff, but the Eric Thomas audio I shared one time where it was called like grind over Google. And he said, you know, I went and was interviewed by somebody and they said that I was like the top hit ever search for motivational speaking on uh, Google. And he's like, I had no idea why. Cause I'm not Googling my name. Like I'm not sitting back checking my stats and refreshing this and that and trying to look at, you know, where I'm at. Like, he's like, I'm in the field. I'm pouring into others. I'm preaching. I'm serving, like get out of your cloud office, like stop refreshing, stop stressing over things and say, how can I show up to be the woman I need to be for that goal I want to hit and to serve the people that need me. And when you do that, that takes the pressure so much off of yourself. So thank you guys so, so much. I love this. I hope you guys took any pieces of inspiration or fulfillment or anything that can help you with your business. Um, this sale is incredible. And like Lori and Olivia said, like, it's a decision. Like you have all the tools you need. You have an incredible product an incredible compensation plan, but like decide that you're going to run with this, that you're going to make this where your focus is, that you're going to not give up on yourself. And when you make that decision, you start to show up differently. You start to think differently. You start to feel differently. And that's all it is. So if you haven't decided that yet, it's the fifth of the month. Pretend those five days didn't happen and decide today. We still have seven days of the sale. You still have seven days to kick things off. Um, and just really decide for yourself. Like Lori said, decide for your husband and your kids and everybody else and know that you can do this. So I love you guys. I hope that you have an incredible night.